Yeah, you know everybody grocery and chips. And then I just asked you, baby, did you want me to get a mm -hmm. chat? And, and you say? said, nah, you want to come with you. Huh? You told me now, nah, right? You said you had them, right? What, like that? Huh? Bring that back to the fell on the mouth. Oh, she wants to say that. Why are you on the couch? You playing with me? Who you playing with, mama? Huh? You playing with me? You want to play that? She got a little rubber like that. Yeah, she want to play because she puts her hand on the way. She want to play. She want to play. You want to play with me? I ain't never put in this play with me, mama. I'm not none of Queen of Bookie. Come on this way. Come on. Come on. Come on, boo. Come on. You want to play? Go get your clothes, bitch. You can Let's go. Go. <laughs> Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, teach you all another video. Hope you all having a very great week. Hope you all having a very good Friday so far. The start of the weekend, yes, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. I recently came across a video that was really very disturbing, as I do quite often, really, you know. And it really just shocked me, because one thing I hate to see, as you all should know by now, if you've been watching the channel for the last four years almost, is the fact that I hate to see children getting abused. And I hate to see older people and also people with mental disabilities. Like in this video right here. And I must warn you before you check the video out. The video is very graphic and it shows this woman who is clearly mentally ill getting tossed around, getting whooped with a switch like she's a child with her uh, panties down. But I couldn't show all that because some people are like, well, why don't you show the whole video? I mean, click the link below. It'll show you the whole video. But what is wrong with people that they were feeling themselves doing stuff like this and then put it on the internet because the only way you can leave your damn phone you know, you go to a server, Wordstar or Twitter, Facebook or whatever, YouTube, is you upload it. So what person in their right mind do this, number one, to a family member or anybody and then upload it and then get mad when us bloggers call it out and speak on it. But let me tell you something about this. If it's public knowledge, that means the public can speak on it because by you upload this to a public site, you made it public. So all they're talking about, take the videos down and all this other stuff. You shouldn't do crazy things. Crazy things wouldn't happen because it is our job to report the news. But anyway, and I say this to say that, is that nobody should have been done this way. Now, I can understand if Dante had hurt the child, but the fact the child wasn't even hurt and all this was over, guess what? Yes, all this was over. The fact that the auntie fell asleep with the baby on her chest. And then they said what the baby could have fell on the floor. True. If if was a fifth, we all could be drunk. But listen. It's not. So why go that far with your auntie and do all this to her? And then the fact that you would insult her, putting her on blast in front of the world like we're supposed to laugh at that. But not everybody find this type of stuff funny. And if anybody knows these people, they need to be reported for basically abusing this person who was clearly mentally ill. And the fact that this helper had her baby in her arm choking Marie, talking about you could have hurt my child. But what if you would have dropped your child while you're trying to choke Marie? Or also, what if Marie would have reached and knocked the hell out you and made you drop your child and knock you the hell out? Like she should have done. Because there's no way you should treat anybody like this. We all should be respected to the fullest capacity. Give respect what respect is due. Now, if you don't want Marie at your house, why is she at your house? She can't go nowhere else because you have people that would do this to you. I mean, they do it to family members. They do it to friends, strangers, whoever. When people feel like you ain't got no other option, they will treat you like shit. Let's just be for real. It may hurt some feelings, but hell, don't get mad at me. Get mad at the person doing all this. Because what I notice a lot of times is the fact that, you know, we try to raise awareness and we try to sit up there and really, you know, show people really the error is not saying we're perfect because nobody's perfect. But I don't see me or anybody else that I know of uploading videos of them choking the hell out their damn family members and then laughing about it like it's all funny. And then you had this big ass girl in the background that when you hear in the background, She's basically agging the whole thing on. And why you do that? Like, I can't stand those type of people. And why I advise you, if you know anybody like that, unless you one of those type of people, get the hell away from them. Because sooner or later, they're going to bring drama into your life. And this is how people wind up getting shot and killed and fucked the hell up. You see what I'm saying? Now, it may offend some people because you may be that type of person. But if you're the type of person who like to ask tough on, sooner or later, it's going to be you on the receiving end of an ass whooping. I mean, I'm telling you, they give ass whoopings out like UPS. Anybody can get this package. But what I'm trying to tell you is this right here. Respect your family members. Respect your elders. Now, the woman did not hurt the baby, but the fact that you all will sit up here and record this, put this on the internet, like we all supposed to find it funny like it's a jokey joke. When it's not funny, it's basically showing 
how really stupid you are and how demeaning you are and the fact that how evil you are at the same time. The fact that you would do somebody like this who is clearly not capable in the mind because let me tell you what a capable person would do. A capable person in their right mind would reach up and pick up something and knock the hell out you. Or we call knock the plug out your head. That's what a person in their right mind would have done. Now I don't promote violence. If anything I said you know, stop the violence. Don't do anything that you will regret. And don't be violent unless you have to, unless you just have to, if it's the last result, or to protect yourself or someone you love, which is the last result. But I believe you should try to talk things out. If you can't talk it out, separate. If you can't separate, do what you got to do. But the fact is that you had this woman in your house talking about she eating up chips and all this other stuff. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure about her being mentally ill. And we could tell she's mentally ill also, which will be another charge also when the police come. It's the fact that, well, why do you give her no chips or anything like that? I'm sure she get a check. So who get her check? Why is she there? Why is it she at her mom's house or in her own place or with one of her brothers or sisters? I mean, but this is what family would do to you. They would turn on you in your darkest hour. So I'm not trying to sit up and say all family members are like this because you have some good family members out there who will stand by you and pick you up when you need a helping hand. But you have some who ain't shit. And I'm sorry. It's just the way it goes. I mean, we all have certain people in our family who just really ain't shit. I mean, let's just be for real. But the fact is that this woman, talking about this a house, it's a damn apartment. You ain't hardly got no furniture in there. I mean, and then you got the curtains up there. Like, how in the hell do you get them damn curtains? I've seen them same curtains at Dollar General about 20 years ago. And my thing is this right here. If you're going to sit up here and uh, show off your house, at least make sure the house is decent, have decent furniture. You have tables. You have everything that an apartment or a house should have. But don't sit up here and try to put somebody on blast when you got boxes and you got clothes everywhere. Clean that damn apartment up and big girl need to get her a damn life. But like I tell you this right here, you know, this shows you how people would do you. Just because you're blood don't mean you're kin to each other. Just because somebody shared the same name as you or the last name or whatever does not mean that you're a family member. You can find a stranger, somebody who don't have no relation to you who will treat you better, love you better than your own flesh and blood will. This is prime example of that. But what I'm trying to say is this right here is that you have a good family and you have bad family. But if you feel the need to sit up here and take your anger out of somebody, because every day she mad at somebody, I don't know if she mad at how she looked, because she's an ugly ass woman. That just be for real. And I hate to say that, but I have to, because not only what she done was ugly, but the fact is you is ugly. So I guess that's why she mad. But the fact that you would sit up here and say, well, I'm going to play about my child. You're not going to hurt my child. And then you sit up here and choke the woman with your child in your hand. Shows how much you really care about your child. You and that big ass helper was basically just looking for a reason to jump on this poor woman. And whoever know this woman needs to notify the authorities. Show them the video because the video is all over the world. So all over the internet now. So show the authorities this video. And also, if you want to stop a lot of this foolishness that you all see, just report their ass. Sooner or later, they will get the point. I'm not trying to preach to nobody. I'm just trying to sit up here and just instill and make sure those old school values are still out there. The fact is, respect your elders. She did not hurt the child. So there was no reason to try to hurt her. Now, I can see if somebody tried to hurt your child or hurt your child, you want to hurt them. Okay, cool. I wouldn't do a video about that. But the fact is, she fell asleep. Maybe she take medicine. She like she takes something. But the fact is, instead of you being an understanding person and you being a mom at the same time and that's your family member, you would sit up here and hurt this woman and then ultimately disrespect her and her pulling her panties down and everything, whooping her with a switch. And we're supposed to find that funny. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this in the comment section and check out the full video in the link below. Just click the description box. And it can take you right to it. But anyway, I must warn you. Like I said, it's graphic. Let me know what you think also. And if you know anybody in your family that do this type of thing, you know, you need to really check them. But anyway, let me know what you think. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. Have a great weekend. Love your family members. If you don't want them in your home, just don't allow them to come in your home. But don't let somebody come in your home and then disrespect them because you feel that you got the upper hand on them because that's your place. Or you tell them, well, get out of my house. Get get your shit and go. You shouldn't do that. Because guess what? You can lose that home just as fast as you got it. Anyway, let me know what you think. You all stay blessed. Have a great day. And I'm out.